Hello everyone, Luke here again, next deck profile here for what I used during the Jealous Challenge. It's Blizzard, Falcon, Burn, Lemuria deck, uh, one of my favourite decks I like to play during Master or 3 format. Um, that's it's definitely excelled a lot more there, well, my build anyway. Hello everyone, Luke here again. Next video here, it's for Luke Link Evolution. Deck profile for what I used during the Duelist Challenge. Uh, Blizzard Falcon, Burn, Lemuria. One of my favorite decks to play during uh, Master or Three format. I mean, still not the most powerful deck ever. It was just a fun deck. That's what I mostly build, but I, it was just, yeah, deck I like playing. Let's, let's start off with all the monsters anyway. Three Aurora Wing, so it's a wing beast. Water. When this card is destroyed, battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card in attack position. You can use this once per turn. But yeah, creature swap target, obviously, and obviously it's got the monster reborn effect on itself once per turn. Plus, it's an uh, infernal reckless summon target. Uh, Black Ring, Zephyros the Elite. If this card is in your graveyard, you can return a face up card you control to the hand. Special summon this card. If you do take 400 damage, you can use that once per duel. Uh, so yeah, another Wing Beast, uh, you can return cards, whether it's like your Field Spell or Monster or like the Call of the Haunted down there. Uh, a lot of plenty of options for this guy. Uh, three Blizzard Falcon, uh, so the main monster anyway. Uh, if this card's current attack is higher than its original attack, you can inflict 1500 damage to your opponent. Uh, this effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field, so it's got like that wind up effect. And uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. So yes, wind up effect and hard once per turn. Uh, but 1500s a lot. Uh, you it gets gains attack from either Lemuria or say uh, Miss Starboy uh, down there in the extra deck. But yeah, that's a that's quite a bit of damage anyway. Uh, obviously, if Lemuri is on the field first, when this guy is uh, summoned, he won't be able to be special summoned by Inferno Reckless Summon because he'll go straight to 17. But still, just the damage is good. Uh, Dark Spear is once per turn you can tribute a Dragon type Dragoonity monster. Basically, tribute itself, special summon a level 4 or lower Wing Beast type monster, and you go out special summon it. So that's the three monsters. And also the Sacred Crane. Plus he's a tuner as well, I did actually Synchro Summon in the second game into a Gungnir. But um, yeah, he also, you can always bring that Blizzard Falcon if required to do damage, maybe Sacred Crane draw a card, or just Synchro Summon like I did. Uh, three Kigeto Kage because there's so many level 4s in this deck, well everything except Dark Spear is a level 4, so he'll be able to special summon and be able to make moves off it. Uh, the Sega Crane, if this card is special summon, draw a card. Yeah, so it's just a uh, wing, it's another wing beast then. You get those. Uh, summon a monk while this card is face up on the field, it can be attributed. Yep, if this card is normal flip summon, change the defense position. Once per turn, you can discard a spell card. Special summon a level 4 monster from your deck. That cannot attack, but depending on the situation, what you want to do is you get the special summon anyway, and you do something from there. Uh, Tin Goldfish, this card is normal sun, you can special summon the level 4 monster from your hand, so level 4 again, plus it's also a water monster, which makes it good for Lemuria. Uh, the two creature swap handy in this deck, because um, you obviously got, you got quite a lot of weak monsters anyway, plus you got the Aurora Wing. Um, yeah, pretty handy in this deck anyway, being able to c c switch control of monsters. Uh, the Dark Hole, uh, Foolish Burial, you probably put Sacred Crane or Zephyros in the graveyard if you get most of the times. Inferno Reckless Summon. Now when exactly one monster with 1500 or less attack is special summoned to your field while your opponent controls a monster, special summon as many monsters as possible with the same name as the special summon monster from your hand deck and graveyard. In attack position also your opponent can special summon as many monsters as possible with the same name as one of their face-up monsters from the hand deck and graveyard. Uh, yeah, so j as long as your opponent controls monsters, um, this card's really good if your opponent has a monster that's obviously one that cannot be uh, special summoned normally. 
or say it's from the extra deck or something because then they can, they can only target that and you get the special summons and they get nothing. So this card is pretty useful. Uh, so the targets who have we got, well we got Summoner Monk, Aurora Wing, Tin Goldfish, uh, the Kigeto Kagi's in, Blizzard Falcon if Lemuri is not on the field or Ms. Starboy. Yeah, so I uh, like it. Uh, okay, so here's Lemuria the Forgotten City. This card's name is always treated as Ermi. All water monsters gain 200 attack and defense. Once per turn during your main phase, you can have all water monsters you currently control gain levels equal to the number of water monsters you currently control to the end phase. So if you have two water monsters, they become level six, three, they all become level seven. That's what it does, makes exceed plays. Uh, mate, you made a lot of exceed plays with this deck during Master All 3 format. Monster Reborn, yep. Uh, two Salvage, target two Water Monster with 1500 less in your graveyard, add those to your hand. So there's plenty of them in this deck. I did use this a couple of times during the gameplay. And the Terraforming to get the Lomeria. Plus the two Twin Twisters to get rid of back row. Uh, Call of Haunted, very, very useful in this deck. Uh, with the Infernal Reckless Summons or just in general. Uh, let's see, a couple of Mirror Force protection if required and a couple of Solomon Strike as well. Alright, so our extra deck, a couple of level 7s here, you got the Dragoni to the Dark Spear plus all those level 4s, so Black Rose Dragon to blow up the field in Gungnir, which I did actually summon. Uh, yeah, should just destroy certain cards on the field. Okay, let's go to Abyss Dweller, since you got a lot of water monsters. Pretty um, good. good. Uh, obviously, uh, negating um, effects in the graveyard. You see, you know, Salaman, great mirror matches. They just summon this guy out in good game. Uh, yeah, so a rank six there. So uh, Ptolemy M7. Uh, see. So yeah, he can return cards on the field or the graveyard back to their player's hands. So either can, so he's got the compulsory effect or he's got that recycle effect, which can be useful. It's time night to blow up everything. You got the Ice Beast Zero Find for the Wing Beast monsters, so you can uh, you know negate everything your opponent has, and also um, yeah, gain surround attack for each card on each each face up card on the field. So you can get pretty big. And I just got one rank seven there, Drago State, just in case I got the three on the field. So yeah, good card there. Protects itself, destroys cards. 101, another. Another water monster that can protect itself and take special summon monsters. And I like this guy. Two level four water monsters. Uh, whenever anyone attacks uh, or your opponent, you could attach or your opponent's monsters lose 1000. I used it in the first game. And Master Key Beetle as well. You got dark monsters in this deck. So he's pretty cool because he can protect himself as well. And like 25 is not bad for a rank four as well and Strike Bouncer, so that more negates for the rank sixes. Uh, not too many Link monsters, probably could have used another one. I think a generic one, especially like Land Ferencus as well, for when you have two monsters that are not the same attribute. Uh, like, for, let's just say I had an Aurora Wing and a Sacred Crane, that's Water and Light. Well, let's just say Summon a Monk and Sacred Crane, because Master or 4 format, um, no problem during Master or 3 format, but during Master or 4, uh, we need we, we can only have one exceed monster on the field in the extra deck slot. We can't just put them in main monster zones anymore. And the Miz Starbore, of course, plenty of water monsters here, recycles water monsters, gain lots of attack and defense, a Blizzard Falcon target, and the Decode Talker as well. So, yeah, I like that card. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. And the uh, yeah, Deco Talker and Power Co Talker. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. So, I like those two as um, rank threes. Yeah, so anyway, that's um, this uh, deck profile done and dusted. Um, lots of fun using this. So, yeah, until next time, thank you all for watching and see you again soon.